And I'm gonna keep admitting here. All right. Well, hey, this spring, uh, right now that I know of, we have over 20 cities that are gonna be doing a citywide volunteer day this spring. Uh, I want to ask if you all could put, if your date is this spring or if it's this fall or summer, whatever it is, can you just put that in the chat? I want to make sure that we have all everyone's dates the best we can, whatever your dates are planned for this year. If you're doing it twice this year, put both dates in. Um, but please, definitely the spring, <clears throat> we want to have all the spring dates that are in there. So please put that in the chat. Um, <clears throat> if your volunteer day, hang on just a second here, I got more. Okay, if your volunteer day is not on April 29th, which a lot of your cities are not on April 29th, some are, quite a few are, but some are not, um, I got to invite you to come to Modesto to observe our, it's our 15th anniversary of Love Modesto, and um, we're going to blow it out the best we can, <laughs> and um, you're just going to get to see a, a working model that's been happening for a few years now, and, um, and I promise you, we are going to wine and dine you. Um, really well. So the idea is it's like a 24-hour experience. Come in on a Friday afternoon and you're, you're, you can leave by Saturday afternoon. And um, we're going to, yeah, we're going to treat you super well, but also you'll be able to get to see behind the scenes um, and in front of the scenes of how to, um, imperfect for sure, we're still growing and learning, but how to uh, pull off a, you know, a citywide volunteer day, you know, and just the, the big, kickoff and the festivities and going to projects and things like that. So a number of, some of you on this call have been before. And um, so I just love to invite you wherever you're at in the country to come out to Modesto and, and I will help you and um, to get everything arranged. And we got uh, our best hotel in town gets us like half off. Um, and so, you know, that's April 29th, April 28th and April 29th. So please let me know if you're interested. All right, I wanna celebrate something here. So last December, we sent out our first all volunteer email. So like, I think it's like 35,000 plus emails that went out to all the cities from what we could gather the best we could. And I didn't know how that was gonna go. I've shared you guys about it coming from Love Our Cities and just profiling a city and talking about how to have the best projects and just some, some good positive information. Well, check this out there was a 62% open rate on that email that went out. That's unheard of <laughs> when you send out a mass email. And even better than that, y'all, the, the, the responses that I got, there's so many email responses saying, this is incredible. I live in this city and we're doing this here, but I didn't know there was a bigger network kind of going on here. I didn't know there was even something bigger going on. And uh, a number of cities, I got to connect some of you with the people that are volunteering that had you know more questions and I just got to interact with them and just to encourage them. And one of the emails I even sent out to you all, um, if I got your email address, I sent it out to you and it, it profiled what, what's uh, going on in Anaheim. And it was this young lady saying, love Anaheim changed my life. <laughs> I mean, it gave me hope. It gave me, you know, I moved here. I didn't know what to do or where to go. And, it, and I just was so encouraged by that. And, um, and so anyhow, I just want to share with you all, you guys are making a difference. You guys are making a difference. You're making an impact in, in your cities. And I saw, I saw the responses. And, um, and I just want to encourage you that what you're doing matters. It really does. And going into 2023, if you're discouraged right now, uh, man, hey, I don't know how to do this dang new website, or, or I don't know how to, you know, is anybody going to sign up? Or are people going to sponsor? There's all these uncertainties. I get it. I'm there. Um, but I'm telling you, if we keep doing, you know, I think what God has called us to do is to be love in our communities. Um, man, people respond and they did and they did respond. So be encouraged, man. It's going to be a great year. I promise you it's going to be a great year. It's not going to be easy. There's going to be curveballs coming, but it's but it's going to be a great year here. Hey, I want to also share. This is our book. This Love Our Cities book. This is our book, not just my book, because we profile 10 of the cities in here on City Spotlights and throughout the book, there are cities that are profiled in here. And in and, and this book, we just try to share, man, the good that is going on in cities and people coming together 
to love their cities. And the response so far, and, and you know, it gets released on April 11th, okay? So we're still a ways away from it gets released, but the copies that I've gotten so far and given out to all of you, if you've not got a copy yet, put your address in the chat and I'll make sure I'll get you a copy. Um, but man, the response has been incredible so far, been really, really encouraging here. And so here's what I need though from you guys. You guys are my tribe, okay? <laughs> I just need you to read it <laughs> and, and give me some honest feedback. Um, and just to, I just wanna hear your suggestions, ideas, or something that how I can champion this thing throughout this year and even in the next years to come. But I want you to get your honest feedback, number one. And number two, I need you to record a 25 second to 30 second short video. And just holding the book and say, hey, this is how this book, this is what this book means to me. Please pick up a copy at any of your favorite bookstores. That's all I need. And as we all know, with social media, it's all about that short video. That short video is what captures people's attention. And so, um, yes. And the third thing is we've got six reviews on Barnes & Noble so far. And you can't write reviews on a lot of the other sites because you can't write reviews till the book is released. But around Barnes and Noble, they let you write reviews before the book is released. And so I want to encourage you all and, and plead, I'm not on my knees, but plead, please write a review. The reviews that are up there are amazing. It's super humbling to read what's up there. Um, but please go to barnesandnoble.com and write a review of the book. Um, that's what I guess my publisher says gets things going, gets the word out there. So can I ask you, my brothers and my sisters, can I get a thumbs up? If you can do those three things, read, respond, post on our short video and post on Barnes and Noble. Am I getting thumbs up? Oh, thank you all. I appreciate you all so much here. Awesome. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some fun here. It is 8.11. So for the next 20 or so minutes, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna divide up in breakout rooms here. Okay, we've done this in a while here, but I want to divide up here. So about three to a room. I think we got about 34 on the call. So three or four to a room. And I'm going to give each of you about five or so minutes. So I'm going to need someone in your room, whatever room you break up into, someone in your room needs to take keep the, keep an eye on the clock. So everyone gets five minutes, okay? Uh, and if there's extra time, great. But let's just give everyone five minutes. And here are the three questions that well first of all, i want you to introduce yourself in your rooms a lot of you guys don't know each other and you're from all over the country and so it'd be really cool to get to know each other a little bit in, in your rooms but here's the three questions number one is what was one way that your city movement advanced this past year what was one big win this last year that you had in your city and the efforts that you're doing okay question number one question number two what's one area that you're stuck you're just you're, you're just stuck right now and number three, what's one big dream you have for this next year? Okay, so introduce yourself. What's, uh, what's one big win you had this last year? What's one way your city movement advanced this last year? Number two, what's an area that you're stuck in? And number three, uh, what is uh, a big dream that you have for 2023? All right, you guys ready? All right, I'm gonna attempt to do this. I haven't done it in a while. So we've got, room. okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, everyone is coming back here. All right, hey, was that cool? You guys have a good time? Hopefully you enjoyed the couple other people that you're with. <laughs> I guess if you said no, that doesn't say a lot for the couple of people you're with. Hey, any, um, can I just hear maybe a couple of responses on what's a big dream that you have for this next year? Anybody wanna share? A big dream that you have for 2023? I will. Um, ours is just really building a sense of community every week for the 22 weeks of our new morning market. All right. A new, the farmer's market in Oakdale. Very cool. Yeah. Anybody else have a, have a big dream for this year for your plans that you have for your city? I was um, in a group with Jim from Manteca, and we both mm -hmm. want just to get more people involved. He, his, his is getting more people involved, and ours was getting yeah. more nonprofits in the community to be individually involved in leading projects. Okay, who's for that dream? <laughs> mm -hmm. We're all on that one. Anyone else? Maybe do one more. What, what's another dream that you have or 
for this year, a goal that you have for this year? The Colorado Springs crew, yeah. we're working on some tangibles for the community um, in terms of how does your, you know, person who's working a nine to five, who lives in a neighborhood, who has a, you know, runs a family, yeah. how do they yeah. pursue city flourishing? So we've created kind of these objectives of pray, love, serve, give, pray for your city, love your neighbor, serve your community, give to your local church. Um, and so we're trying to create some tangible ways for just kind of that, that mom, that dad, that, you know, person that's just trying to love their community well to jump in. Well, that's good. I mean, that's something seriously, we are all facing. I mean, everyone, they don't wake up thinking like, what is it about Colorado? I want to like volunteer in Colorado Springs today. <laughs> that's yeah. not the first, some, sometimes it's just, I got to get my kids to the school. Yeah. I got to keep everyone safe. I got to get to my job, the stress of my job. Yeah. And so this volunteerism is a nice add on if it works sometimes, right? Right. So, so that, I think that is the challenge that we all have here. How do we cast a compelling vision, an inspiring vision, a positive vision, not a guilt or a shame vision, but something positive that, hey, this is a way that not only you can serve your community, it's going to help others, but it's going to help you too, you know, to be that kind of person you want to be. So, okay, we have a new website platform, as you all know, and John is on vacation. And so I said, John, stay on vacation. I don't want you chiming in from another location. So I just need you just to be on vacation. And I, I said, I would take any questions, anything that you guys have, have come across that need to be addressed that I can relate to him. Is there anything, have you guys had a chance to, to um, work this new website and, and how's it going so far? I just need to hear it from you. <laughs> Is it working so far or have you had a chance to even dive into it yet? Uh -huh. I, I actually am having a problem. John and I communicated once while he was on vacation. I felt bad he was on vacation, but I'm wondering if anybody else has had the issue where you can log on to the admin site, but the same login credentials are not working for the front end site. And okay. That, okay. that baffled John and he knows that I've, I've talked okay. to him. I sent him me an email. Too. Yeah, me too, Lisa. I actually emailed okay. him the same thing. I can update the project site, but I cannot update the front end of the website. Um, as far as yeah. I can tell. and I was here, I, I know John's on vacation, so if he needs to wait until he gets back, but, um, right. Okay. Well, I'm happy to know that it's not just me. Um, okay. I'm also not receiving any emails from the platform. So like even initially when he tried to send me the initial login, I tried to do a password reset. He tried to send me a password reset. I'm not receiving any emails that come directly from the platform even though my email address is correct and it's not my spam or anything else. So okay. those are the okay. issues I'm having. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, does it seem to be working and for you, Lisa? I mean, I can't do anything to make it look, you know, I can't do anything on the front well, end about the appearance. So all I've okay. been able to do is update the settings, the you know, and put everything okay. to okay. Odell fair. specific, but yeah. Um, I think I wish I'd known John was going to be gone for two weeks in January because yeah. that was kind of my, hey, let's start it the new year, you know, get it going yeah. after the holidays. So um, I understand. But we'll just, you know, be patient and trust. We'll get it done when it's done. OK, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Any, anyone else have any other comments about the new platform? Any other issues or positives that you see in it? We worked on it before the holidays, haven't done anything since the holidays, and um, there were a number of, of issues. It looks like it's got, you know, it's going to be great once it's fixed. And I just want to say John's tremendously responsive, um, just yeah. fabulously responsive to any problems. That's good. That's good. You know, and I've shared this before, and he's not here, so I'll, I'll say it. You might see this later. Of all the website people and all that I've worked with, like, he has, he has such an incredible, humble heart. And he's super knowledgeable, but like you said, he's so relational and so communicative that I just I've just enjoyed working with him. So I, even when there's challenges that come up, and there will be, walk on the technology. There's going to be some, you know, some real challenges. I mean, but I know he's going to be on it. He's going to do everything he can to make it right, to fix it, and all that. And he wants to serve y'all. I mean, he wants. I mean, each of you have different needs and all that, and we want to just serve y'all the best we can um, to meet those needs. Any other, anybody else? Uh, got a, thumbs up. Oh, go ahead, Dave. <laughs> I got a positive for you. 
Uh, I didn't have a chance to work on the website too much because of Christmas Eve and all that stuff. But I was able to log in. I was able to set up kind of sponsorship levels and do all the, the back end stuff on the project side. And then on the website side, I changed some of the, um, the templated language just to be able to snap a picture of it and put it on our social media. And um, it was great. It's a good tool. And we're in the process of looking for a new website for um, our church. And so I have a lot of experience using like Squarespace, but this site was very simple to use as well. So once you're in there, um, I think it's going really well. That's great. Very good. And I get get it, y'all. And I've been obviously gone too, so I haven't thought about website stuff. Um, but in the next couple of weeks, and I think he's back here, not next week, but the following week. Um, and so I know he's going to get at this and I'm going to, you know, we're, we're going to meet right when he gets back as well. So I'll bring this up as well. But if any other issues, just let me know, send them to me. If you can even kind of explain it a little bit in the email, and then I can relay that. And um, yeah, and you know, as you guys get into it throughout January and February and March, I mean, there's gonna be more little things that come up. That's just how it goes. Um, hopefully for you guys that are later in the year, we get it all figured out. <laughs> I, I thought we try to get it all figured out now, but we, we eventually will. Yes, Carrie. Question? Yeah, um, so for those of you that are working in the new platform, have you are you working in the like a development version of it in like your city name dot uh, love our cities dot or or not because i'm i just got access to kind of our development site so we can build out the front end but i don't have access to a back end is there is there um are, are any of you in that situation too are you building out the site in a temporary you know development url yeah i think everyone has moved over and being that Laguna Beach was one of our beta cities that I, mm -hmm. I don't think yet you are moved over yet, but we need to move you over here, obviously. Well, so. we, st we have to we have to build out the front end, though, because we basically okay. have to do that all over again. So maybe so. John's working with you on that. You're right, because, yeah, there was a there was a, a challenge that came about. I know that um, we're, we're still building it out for sure. I have not had a ton of time to get in there. So we're we're not fully moved over to the new site we're okay. still just building it out and then the old site is what's like on the front to right. add to the public right now so, so as you're building it out is it danielle yeah danielle as you're building it out do you have access to the the back end also is it, do you I have do. an admin what's your yeah. what, so so what's the url that you're building it out on is it like your city name dot laguna uh love our city star org is that what they were building it out in a different in a different place right yeah it's in the admin um it yeah snowcallmevalley.loveourcities.org okay and how do you get to the administrative part of it i um, honestly go through the email that john sent me okay <laughs> yeah well, that link and go there that, that gives me access to the front end but it doesn't okay. give me access to like sponsors and projects okay. and all those things so so carrie i don't know carrie if you've gotten this or anyone else if you go to lovercities.org backslash city leaders that's mm -hmm. our resource page on there there's um i think they yeah, have the button the city i think it's just resources i believe mm -hmm. it's called john outlines a step-by-step -step on how to operate this website is that is that where the documentation yeah. yes is? okay yes. that's where the documentation thank you for that, that so that that's where should I'll go. be a huge help there are some obviously some, some things that we got to work on but that so let's do this we've got okay. this this next month i um i encourage you all to really work your website this next month and really try to get it down and and any issues that come up let me know send them to me and i'll be communicating with john on that uh, but next month in February meeting, I'm going to have John come to the February meeting and we're going to spend some time um, with him and um, hopefully more stuff will get worked out. But if not, let's just have him on the call with us so we can kind of work other things out as well. Next month as well, I want to spend the other half of the meeting on talking about loving our city year round. I just don't want to focus on the volunteer day. The volunteer day is super important, but it's not the end goal. It's loving our city year round, all year round is is really the, the goal of this here. And so I want to um, yeah spend some time talking about what um, different cities are doing and just for us to get ideas from other cities. And we can't do everything, 
Um, but maybe there's, you know, some other things that you could do beyond the volunteer day that could really make even a greater impact in your community here. So, so that's next month. Um, hey, we're going to be done here, I think. Any other questions? Any other pertinent, pertinent questions and all that? Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's close out our meeting and then next month if um you know we'll be ready for what we're going to do next month if you have any if you want to stay on the call if you have anything that you want to talk to me about real quickly um we can we can do that as well so have an awesome day and an amazing 2023 y'all